Welcome to Editing and Chaos in the Untouchables. So now we have an overview of the Untouchables and we know a little bit more about the Chicago locations in which they filmed while they were here in 1986. Let us now turn to the term editing and define it. Editing is the coordination of one shot with the next. The coordination of one shot with the next. This is a definition that suggests we should probably also define the word shot. So shot is an uninterrupted segment of screen time. So let's see how these two techniques work in this scene from The Untouchables in which Elliot Nass is looking for Al Capone at his hotel. So we have a nice establishing shot of the hotel itself. And then we have Kevin Costner's character walking into the hotel. We get the same, a nice establishing shot inside of the building. So we see where the lobby is, we see where the desk is, what's behind the desk. We see the employees and the staircase to the left here. So this is shot number two. Shot number three, you notice how the characters are getting closer and closer from that establishing shot that we saw in shot number one. So now we have a two shot, a medium shot of these two characters with Kevin Costner's character's face, quite agitated. His eyes are also looking up. So our next shot is going to be a low angle shot from his perspective, looking up at the staircase. So who do we see? Al Capone descending the staircase itself. This is shot number four. Shot number five goes back to Costner and the lobby employee, and then Costner's character is going to complete his job. So we have five shots in this scene. They are joined together by a cut, instantaneous change from one shot to the next. But hopefully you're noticing that these are very smooth edits. You are not paying attention to the edits themselves because you are paying attention to the characters and the narrative. This is part of continuity editing, coordinating the one shot with the next seamlessly. There are multiple ways that Hollywood uses continuity editing, and we won't be able to cover all of those in this mini course, but the scene that we just watched is a good example of continuity editing unfolding before you. Oh, 